let's discuss today the section two. It's more about uh, the articles. Uh, it defines and sets the guidelines for the letter of credit, uh, documentary draft and documentary demand for the payments. For trade finance, we need a lot of uh, facilities. The LC is one of them. Um, uh, the people who are working and dealing with uh, the treasury and uh, uh, those who are working with the uh, trade finance export sections, uh, they are familiar with the process of opening an LC, the document required, and um, uh, the terms and conditions, uh, um, uh, revocable, irrevocable, uh, 120 days, 90 days, Days and uh, what other compliances uh, required into so it defines the guidelines for the LC uh, in terms of demand deposit accounts also known as checking account is the term that is really important that we have saving accounts we have current accounts which is also named as checking accounts you can keep your money uh, in these accounts and these are readily available for uh, your liquidity purposes and usage in TDA's time deposit accounts Account. So you can have multiple products for uh, short term and long term time deposit depend uh, the economy economic situations that you get high rates or low rates um, related to the risk in the market and um, the risk of the economy itself. Uh, but a time deposits uh, will be less liquid than to the uh, checking accounts. Uh, saving accounts, money market deposits accounts and and OW accounts, these are certain type of accounts which we need to maintain in any treasury functionalities and which have their own liquidity usage. Non-credit unions are non-profit, generally only able to offer services to certain type of members, teachers, labor unions. Deposits are issued by NCUSIF, not uh, the FDICs. So these are uh, regulated in other way and it has a specific purpose to be used. Four main role of the FAD. FAD is really important organization. Uh, they control the supply of money, issuing the notes. Um, they have uh, they loosen the market. They tighten the market. Uh, they buy uh, uh, the securities. Uh, they sell securities. They have open market operations. So this is what is um, um, they make monetary policy. Uh, fiscal policy is made by the government and monetary policy is related to supply, how much is the uh, demand and supply forces, uh, monetary uh, issues related to an economy, central bank, regulation, compliances, rules and procedures. These are all uh, important uh, aspects in monetary policies. Currency issuance, how much currency will be issued showed what is the pattern demand intrinsic value dollar versus euro pounds unit exchange rate determinations supervision regulations in terms of uh, controlling banks uh, fis uh, or other um, financial institutions uh, serving to government and depository institution services that deposit uh, they provide a lot of services like this. This is their roles. Financial crimes are increasing nowadays. So we have financial crime in for an enforcement network. Uh, we implement policies to detect and fight uh, money laundering by criminal or terrorist organizations, tracking of transaction, knowing your customers. KYC is really important. These things really help uh, organization to protect the uh, society in large because financial funding and financial embezzlement, moving money from here and there, from black into white, these are big issues uh, related to. So Fed has uh, anti-money laundering policies, procedures, and um, we should understand that how to uh, do the, uh, the know how to know the customer. Uh, KYC and certain other related compliances to it.
Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation established in 1933 uh, as a part of Glass Seattle Act. They provide insurance on bank deposit. This is a salient feature. Offer $250,000 insurance on consumer and commercial deposits at bank. Uh, the supervised depository institution uh, becomes trustee in event of a bank failures and own the deposit insurance funds. In terms of SEC Securities Exchange Commission, this is a very effective organization uh, in the United States. Uh, their primary mission is to protect the shareholder investors, create a transparency of financial information, keeping an eye in terms of uh, operations, in terms of profitability of certain large corporations in order to avoid defaults and uh, integrity of the security market they have to improve regulatory compliances in the companies so companies become efficient smart optimal and they should have effective internal controls they should have policies procedures require companies to register ipos initial public offerings and all the procedure related to it when you need a cash i can go to sec i can ask for some registration for uh, capitalization of my asset i can pledge certain things i can issue my shares so all the procedures uh, you know shelf registrations and off the shelf on the shelf and a lot of other uh, terminologies we know related to the sec regulations Reg regulates mutual funds investment advisors and monitors for insider trading insider trading is when someone within a company use a confidential information for their personal gains then it is um, subject to a criminal proceedings and uh, sentenced to the jail in order to utilize the sensitive information office of foreign asset controls um, it's an office in the treasury department so uh, they enforce economic trade or sanctions against foreign countries uh, those are under the sanctions of uh, united nations and others and sponsoring organization internal international drug traffic uh, traffickers able to freeze foreign assets and the u.s jurisdiction so this is a very important feature of this uh, uh, office of foreign asset controls there are three phases of money laundering one is placement one is layering and one is integration so how it works is uh, in placement deposit money into a financial institution the money will come first then creating financial transaction to hide original origin of deposit money so you will use offshore account onshore account you will rotate the money to this country that country another country because all countries are not strongly regulated so in some countries movement somehow it will start sounding like a clean money so that's why we called it as money laundering integration creating a legitimized explanation nation of funds so you can produce a lot of documents try to prove that this money is a legitimate money USA Patriot Act says in response to the 9-11 attacks in order uh, because these attacks uh, uh, are not uh, cheap you know it is uh, it is costly there are people involved into um, there are money uh, movements so add more regulation on financial institution in order to detect terrorism financing who finance these people idea brain uh, this is uh, you know very important to restrict the financial uh, aid implement know your customer uh, rules for financial institutions so as a fa as a bank as a financial institution you know who is who is the funding who is the customer his origin his source of money is his, his organization his uh, his uh, 
uh, you know, uh, turnovers, uh, his uh, or her uh, uh, transaction levels, these all are very important to know about customer and a lot of more things that, com that comes in the compliance part of knowing a customer. Sarbain Oxley is a very effective act. It's crystallized the organization. It puts them some compliance roles. It defines certain kind of uh, rules, policies, and procedures. It tells larger corporations to make audit committees, and they should have independent directors. They should have financial experts. They should add value into day-to-day. Um, operations by commenting on the quality. Companies must develop internal control for financial reporting, code of ethics for the officers. And then, uh, you know, other things like uh, sorting out accounting issues between internal order, external order management, and this uh, audit committee really add value into day-to-day -day operations.